But now the Attorney General came out here, or the, the, the office of the Attorney General came out here. How, what did he send out a couple of attorneys that worked for him or what? So not long after that, we um, had come to the conclusion that, okay, we've done everything we can do and they're still not doing anything. We still haven't heard from them. Nobody was contacting us. Mm -hmm. um, so we said, all right, release the video. Show people what happened. They can decide for themselves. And if they're upset about it, they'll call the AG's office and we'll get an answer. Mm -hmm. And so we released the video and sure enough, it blew up yeah. and um, people are mad. People are really mad. As they should be. Yeah. Um, they were really mad. Were there some people who, oh, I own guns and that's, that's my right. Um, yeah. Well, I never want to hang out with you, sir. Yeah. Um, also, don't try this at home because you probably will be arrested. Yeah. Um, you know, that's it's not normal for someone to walk away from something like that and have nothing more than a couple of handcuffs thrown on the wrist for a couple of seconds. Yeah. Um, so, you know, I, I said in one of my last interviews with uh, KLBK, maybe I said, if you're uh, not the person who did this, don't try this at home um, just because he, he got away with it. Yeah. You, you won't get very far. Uh, yeah. You'll get as far as the back of a cop car. So. Did you become basically the spokesperson then? Because I mean, <laughs> I can only imagine your mom is devastated. Yeah. And I mean, everybody who knew of their relationship, how much they loved each other, shock, disbelief. So were you basically the public spokes spokesperson more or less? It was um, mostly my, my sister and I. Um, you know, it, of course I was getting contacted because it was my TikTok. Um, and so my account was kind of, people were finding me on Instagram, reaching out to me. And at first we were very hesitant. I mean, we did not talk at all. Like we right. were like, I'm sorry, like you can consult with our attorney, like yeah. kind of sent everybody that way. Um, and then our attorney was like, oh, y'all can talk all you want. You right. know, you can, you can talk. And so we said, okay, bring it on. <laughs> and yeah. So, um, yeah, that's when it was right after the video was released that things really blew up. And that's when we started, you know, talking and, um, just getting more information. And, um, not long after, uh, the AG showed up, so, not the AG himself. But. Right. Yeah. So then what happened from that point? Uh, so they sat us down. They, 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 they brought forth justice. Yeah. Um, no, no. Uh, we, uh, we sat in a room at the, I don't know, the courthouse yeah. and, um, let them tell us that they were working on it, that they didn't know why he was arrested and, uh, that we shouldn't talk the AG's because we didn't, we didn't want, I mean, they advised against it, um, because they didn't want to pollute the pool that they wanted to pull a jur a jur a, um, they wanted the to jury, have the grand jury from. Yeah, they wanted yeah. to have an impartial grand jury. And to me, I'm like, why are we doing this in Lubbock anyway? Right. Like, this is not, this pool has been, it was contaminated the day that it happened to the two people it happened to. Right. Because everybody in this community knows, knows somebody who knows somebody who knows somebody. Right, right. So it was contaminated, contaminated that moment. Yeah. Um, and so I remember leaving that meeting and... I was like, well, they're not going to do anything. And they, they assured us, they assured us that they had, you know, the best attorneys on, um, on the, on the case and that they were going to handle it. And, um, yeah, I, I mean, they, from my understanding, um, nobody that we know, um, to be friends with Chad, to have known the relationship, um, of Chad, of Chad's past, of his relationship with his ex-wife, um, of his past friendship with mm -hmm. the man, um, that shot him. Uh, none of the people who could speak to those, um, relationships were called to testify at the grand jury, um, from what I understand. So that was interesting to me. So basically what I hear you saying is that the people that were on this grand jury were tainted in a sense. I, I, I know that, that yeah. I know the saying you can indict a ham sandwich. Right. If they wanted to take the case, they would have. Does it look good for anybody in that office that's running right now? No. Yeah. Bottom line is no, it doesn't. So why would they? And, and that was the that was the main thing that I said over and over again is this doesn't look good for their office. Mm -hmm. And that's why I continued to stay loud about it because I wanted them to remember that I don't care if you do something or not, I'm going to continue to make your office look bad. Yeah. So, you know.